right, so the drone knocked my phone over. What's going on guys, Richie from 04 Mach 1 Speed. So I have another little quadcopter I bought. This is the uh, the Sharper Image DX1. They've got the two, three, and four. The one, two, and three look very similar to this design. And the four is a, a lot bigger. It's about the size of the maybe the SEMA X5C, kind of like that scale. Um, but I picked this up for 22 bucks at Walmart because uh, Target also sells it, I believe, but I think they are just online. Uh, because the Target near me doesn't actually have this in stores, it's just a Walmart one. So I like so. these little tiny quadcopters because they're so cheap that if you destroy them and crash them and blow them up, it doesn't really matter. They're so they're so inexpensive, you can just go out and buy another one. Now, I will say I've had probably two dozen different ones, and this is probably the best one I've ever had. This is the Sky Viper M200. Um, this one's like 30 bucks, and I've had this for almost a year now, and I've charged it and crashed it and charged it some more, and probably crashed this thing at least 100 times, and it's still just continues to run perfectly. I've even got hair caught up in the motor and the thing just still works perfectly. This so. is actually pretty much one of the cheapest ones I've been able to find in the store. I mean, you can find cheaper ones online, but the fact this one's only $22, it's kind of All interesting. Right, so let's get uh, first thing. First things first, this thing has absolutely dreadful reviews. <laughs> it's horrible reviews. And I knew that before I bought it, I just bought it anyways. I figured, hey, it's $22, no big deal. But there's a reason why this thing's got horrible reviews because it does not fly very good at all. Uh, it runs great, but it doesn't handle very well. It's very unstable, um, and it's very, very responsive, very responsive, which is great. It's very responsive. Unfortunately, it's better to have responsive and uh, stable. If you got one or the other, it doesn't really work that well, and this thing is very responsive, and that does not handle very well. It's not very stable. You got to keep setting the trim pretty dramatically. You got to click it a bazillion times in the opposite direction or however which direction it's you know going veering off to that's kind of the biggest problem um some of these more expensive ones like the sky viper m200 once i set the trim on this it stays like that until i crash it again or something like that but this one you got to set the trim every single time you turn it on which kind of sucks because as soon as you turn it on it literally starts to veer off so you have to trim it out to the left and the yaw rate is extremely fast it yaws very quickly and unfortunately, there's only one speed, which is crazy cracked out mode. So when you have it on that mode, which since you can't change it, it's automatically going to yaw very fast and turn very quick. In other words, this thing is extremely fast, but it's not very stable. I'm a big so. fan of Sharper Image. I've, I have a lot of Sharper Image products, uh, but I'm not a big fan of this one because they didn't really think this one through. I think it has something to do with the fact that it's just, it's, you know, half an inch tall uh, from top to bottom. And maybe the uh, design isn't, it's not very aerodynamic, I'll say that. Uh, and that might play a part as to why it's not very stable, but uh, would I recommend buying this? Yeah, absolutely. I'd recommend going out and get this today if you like little quadcopters, because this thing is a lot of fun and it's very challenging, um, which is great, because if you've flown so many of these things, you kind of do want a challenge here and there. These quadcopters, some of them do different things and some of them don't. Uh, these two aside, the autopilot audio orientation, it does not work very well, it messes up. Auto land, I don't even try that. I'm not even gonna try that at all. Now I am glad that this thing doesn't flip. It, it doesn't do the little flip thing like all the other ones do, which is great because I don't do it anyways. It's flying in the air and you push the analog right, it goes to the right. Once you let off the analog, it stops instantly. So it goes like that and pretty much stops. This one is a whole different story. When you push the analog right and then you let go, it keeps going until you correct it. So, which is which is cool. Um, I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the gyroscopic technologies in there. I don't think it does. Uh, but this is one of the ones that if you push on the right analog and you let go, it's going to keep going. So, so that is kind of cool. It's cool to have something different than the, uh, the charge F2. cable for the uh, Sharp Image DX1 is very similar to the Protocol Neo drone. I guess it's it's identical to this. Now you can't use this charger on, you know, vice versa. You can't use the uh, the protocol on this one and this one on the protocol because this one's a little bit looser and it just kind of has kind of falls off. But I kind of like that design because that means the uh, the charge port is pretty much integrated into the circuit board itself, which you would think that would make it vulnerable uh, to slamming into something, but it's not. I mean, you can push this thing pretty hard; it's not going to break. So, whoops, it's not focusing. The now the transmitter, on the other hand, I don't like the transmitter because it's obviously a weird weird shape i will say that these buttons uh, including e even the power button um and the actual analogs are actually very solid they they're very solid but they don't have a, a very they don't have a loose feel to it they actually feel like they're pretty well made you, know, you can put this rayovac i don't remember putting rayovac in there i thought i had some duracells in there but that doesn't matter rayovac's still pretty good so I know why they did that. It's pretty obvious. You can put this little quadcopter in your transmitter and close it up and take it along wherever you want to go. Uh, and if you have a little battery bank like I do, uh, then you can just take this with you. I would charge this thing at half an amp if possible. I like to charge these little quadcopters at half an amp. 
uh, because one amp just seems too much for a 100 milliamp uh, lithium polymer battery. But these things were pretty much designed to take one amp, so as long as you don't charge them at two amps, you're um, fine. These things never break. I mean, they always include four extra sets of uh, four extra uh, propellers on these things, but I've never actually broken any. I mean, I've slammed these things in the wall really hard, and they don't, they never break. So I guess they just, I think the quadcopter is going to break well long before the uh, propellers do stuff 100 foot flying range. By the way, you can fly these outside. The uh, manual specifically says these are for indoor only. I take these things outside all the time. If there's no wind, these things actually fly great. This thing is, not only is it really difficult to fly, it's actually very fast. Very fast. It's not really that it's, it's not really that it's difficult, it's just, it's very, very, very responsive. And it's, it's responsive and not stable, if that makes any sense. So you have this very responsive quadcopter mixed with something that's not very stable, and you get a disaster. <laughs> kind of. When you get used to it, it's, it's, it is quite fun. It really is. It, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a challenge, and that's what makes it so fun. You have this incredibly challenging, unstable, very responsive quadcopter, <laughs> and that's ultimately what you have. So, it's, like I said, it's very fast. Oh my god. This thing is extremely fast. I kind of wish there was a slower speed. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, this thing's fast. Give you a nice little hint right there. Hey there, Oliver. What are you doing? What are you doing? By the way, those magic cards aren't mine. You wanna play with it? back.